Um, I think we need to, um, I think communities are better served when we look out for each other. Mm -hmm. When we um, do, do things for the right reasons, for the greater good, not just not just uh, for selfish ways, selfish reasons. I also um, think civility is important. Um, social graces matter. <laughs> um, you um, building relationships with people, um, building connections that uh, create unity, bring people together rather than push people apart. I think that's important. Um, I think working across the different groups who live in our community, not being, um, not just keeping to those individuals who are most familiar to you. I think you open up your capacity to learn and engage in the world when you reach across boundaries and connect with folks who come from a lot of different places and a lot of different ways of thinking. Um, and it not only broadens your perspective and, uh, and creates the ability for you to exist meaningfully and peacefully in a lot of different communities, it makes you, um, I think, stronger in terms of knowing what's of value to you. Um, so those are the, some of the things that have helped me as yeah. I've uh, moved from Oklahoma City and lived in a few different states. Uh, uh, I've experienced some international travel. It took me many years to get to international travel, but once I did, I even realized that within the United States, um, we don't have the golden ticket on how to live. There are many places outside of this country where there are wonderful life lessons to be learned um, about what community means. Um, and I my eyes have just been opened yeah. in ways um, that I never thought possible when I initially started out here in Oklahoma yeah. City. But it, but it started right here with public schools and the readings and the opportunities to attend um, artistic events downtown, mm -hmm. uh, dance, go to musical concerts and things that elevated my sense of music, musical style. Uh, and I ultimately majored in music in college. And I mentioned Mrs. Alexander, my piano teacher, and, and Leroy Hicks was our choir director at, at Douglas, and Cornelius Pittman was the gentleman who got me started with strings when I was a, in the fifth grade. And I had long arms, long fingers, so he said, I think a viola will fit you. <laughs> so I started playing viola, and I yeah. played viola all the way through to the senior year of college. Yeah. And I played in the university orchestra. All of these things I continue to do, um, and music is still a part of my life right now. And I and so these and, and I think that's why I started in in the direction of music um, to teach music at the elementary level. I actually ended up teaching at the college level. I taught music history, music theory, music. Uh, literature. And I taught uh, be beginning and intermediate, intermediate piano, uh, and I I never thought that that would be um, my path. Right. And I ultimately ended up in higher education administration. But all of that for me started right here in Oklahoma City on Northeast Twenty First Street, and I appreciate this place. And I appreciate the contributions to my life that started right here. And although I'm leading a, a substantial uh, student population, uh, 26,000 students uh, and, and, um, at Santa Monica College in uh, Santa Monica, California, all of that started right here. Yeah. in Oklahoma City. And my parents moved from Arcadia, a small town outside of Oklahoma City. And now Arcadia has even grown. Arcadia is now Edmond, right? Yeah, <laughs> just Arcadia has the, the, the even two, grown. Two different, yeah, so someone at the together. event on uh, Monday said yeah. to my brother, wow, from Arcadia to Santa Monica, California, <laughs> from Arcadia, Oklahoma to Santa Monica, yeah. California, that's, that's quite, a, quite a transition. And indeed it is. Yeah.